Good morning. It is the cultural, it is a Council on Aging meeting this morning on Friday, February 19th and virtual meeting information pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions to the open meeting law, general section 30A uh, or chapter 30A section 18 and the governor's March 15, 2020 order imposing strict limitations on the number of people that may gather in one place. This meeting of the Hubbardston Council on Aging will be conducted via remote participation to the greatest extent possible. Specific information and the general guidelines for remote participation by the members of the public and or parties with a right and or requirement to attend this meeting can be found on the town website. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequate, adequately access the proceedings in real time via Zoom. In the event that we are unable to do so, despite Bet's efforts, we will post on the town's website a comprehensive recording of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. All right. Yep. For me. you. Have a great meeting, guys. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Lori. I'm going to start the meeting. God, our Father, we are gathered this day and ask you to be present with us. Help us to do what is right and helpful for the seniors in the town of Hubbardston. We ask this through your son, Jesus. Amen. 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 All right. First on the agenda is the uh, reading of the minutes from the last meeting. Mark, Mark said that uh, Mallory left the minutes here at the senior center. No. Hold on, I'm grabbing them. Yes, I have them from January 15th and November 13th. Because I guess we never read them on November. Do you want them all or just January? Uh, just January. Skip, you want all, just January? January, yeah, we should we should then. Okay. I think because uh, I think we know old business in there that we have to maybe discuss. So right, I think she just never read the November ones uh, for whatever reason. I don't think she had them the last time we met. Yeah, I think we should read them. Okay, here's January's. Um, January 15th, 2021 at 10.05 via Zoom. Present was Chairperson Hillary Scott, Secretary Mel, Treasurer Ken, COA Director Claudia, Board Members Bonnie, Jane, Nancy, and Bill. Not present was Vice Chairperson Flo. Meeting was called to order by uh, Chairperson Hillary Scott at 10.05 a.m. Prayer was Hillary Scott. Um, secretary's report was presented by Mel. Report from 11-3, a meeting was submitted. Motion to accept by Nancy and second by Ken. Motion passed unanimously with one correction that the time ended 11.51 a.m. Treasurer's report presented by Ken. Expense account balance was $2,793.78. Formula account spent $400.95. Motion to accept Mel, second bill, motion passed unanimously. Director's report submitted by Claudia. Uh, Claudia questioned whether or not we should continue to have the senior center open given the current health concerns. Discussion ensued. Motion to close the senior center to the public until sometime in April made by Ken, second by Nancy. The senior center will continue as a command center with phone messages being checked being available for outreach, eggs and food distribution will continue on drive through basis, mock meals will continue to be delivered, our newsletter will continue to be published, volunteers for outreach contact Mel, Bonnie, and Nancy. Claudia will contact T.A. Ryan to discuss any issues for private, uh, privacy regarding the senior list. Claudia will also speak with Ryan regarding the setup for our next Zoom meeting meetings Friday, the February 12th and March 12th at 10 a.m. New business was none at this time. 
Motion to adjourn, Mel, second Ken. Motion passed okay. unanimously. Meeting adjourned at 11.03, respectively submitted by Mel. Is someone taking notes for this meeting? Or do you want me to? Would you, would you please like take, okay. would you please, yeah. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. All right, so we're going to the treasurer's <laughs> report. Oh, excuse me. You got to accept. Do I, have, accept accept, do I have a motion to accept the mini, minutes? <clears throat> I'll make a motion to accept the minutes. Okay. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Sounds like a pass. All right, so we'll go on to the treasurer's report then. Okay. Uh, as of currently, what we have in the, uh, in, the gift, in the gift account is we have a balance of $16,890.61. In our expense account, we have a remaining balance available of $2,793.74. And in the formula grant, uh, we did get uh, a contract from the state. So now we have a balance that we need to spend by June 30th of 6,000, 720, 71. Did you say by June 30th? Yes, we need to spend that. <clears throat> Is that the treasurer's report complete? Do I hear a motion to accept the treasurer's report? Any discussions? I make a motion to accept Ken's treasurer's report. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Sounds like it passed. The director's report. Okay, so um, I got a call from Darlene. She she um got another two thousand dollar grant money um, from the friends. And she wants to put on a grab and go, like we'll make soups or shepherd's pie or whatever. She wants to do that. But in order to do that, oh, who's, who's talking, Vaughn? Oh, I got, I got noises in my computer, so don't worry. Um, so she wants us to do that. In order to do that, we have to, um, I don't know if I might call the, the friends or whatever, but we have to get three estimates for the meats, for the vegetables. You know, I already spoke to Rich, Farmer Rich, and he said he'll help us with the Connecticut Valley, maybe with some grocery, but we, um, the friends would have to put the money up first and then write themselves a check. But she'd like to do it once a week. So I, I did make a plan and I went online and found out how much food we would need to do 75 to 100 people. Do you feel like we have 100 people drive through would come and get a meal once a week? Maybe the same time on Thursday we could deliver it. I don't know. I'd, how you... I'd say between 75 and 95 people might come. So you're talking about a cooked meal. Yes, we're talking about like shepherd's pie. You can make them in those little with dishes, you know, with covers, um, maybe some uh, beef stew or some chicken pot pies, or, you know, we could each week, we could do that. I don't think $2,000 is going to go a long ways. I no. think if we can get a month of meals, we're doing pretty good. So she's talking about a set day of the week, each week? Each week. She would like to do it once a week, but she could do it every other week. Uh, so if we wanted to do it once a week, but probably wouldn't be able to do it. I mean, I don't know if somebody wants to do it before I get back or if you want to wait till I get back. But in the meantime, we've got to get some research because she needs three 
three um, estimates for the meat. You know, like there's Valley View Farms. She's trying to lose use local farmers. Yep. So I got to get estimates. She'd also have to have, you'd have to have at least one person who's certified for the kitchen, right? There? Right. Yep. Yeah. So you really so got we have Flo. we have Walter, we have Bev, we have Flo, we have Mel. Uh, Mel's not coming out, but I forget who the other one is. Are you certified, Nance? No, no. But we have Bev and Walter. I know they would help. Okay. And Mel and Flo. So anyway, that's the newest thing she's been calling me about that. I just got to get the three quotes from everybody. And I was trying to figure out how much meat we would need. So when I ask him to give me a quote, I can say we need 20 pounds of hamburger um, and we need so much chicken. So I went online and I got recipes for 75 to 100 people, what they say we would need for meat. So anyways, that's what I'm thinking. If I, anybody wants to hop on board, and help me get the estimates, that'd be great. Do you want to give Ann Yeagle a call and just see if there's, I mean, I don't know the vegetables that she delivers, whether there's, if she heard about this, whether they'd be able to get us some free vegetables or not. Yeah. But it yeah. might be worth giving her a call or a text. Yeah. We asked her to increase the amount of vegetables we were getting because we run out of those early every week. We were out of those this week. And she did increase them. Oh, so, good. Yeah, but you know, she asked how many, how much more increasing. We asked for half more of what we were getting. And um, Bev feels that that is, you know, we're getting more, but I'm just saying, I, I have no idea whether they have a surplus of vegetables at this growing places or not. But, you know, I know Farmer Richard probably have, he has a good connection too, absolutely. He said he would go to the Connecticut Valley, which would be good, but we would have to let him know and we would, someone would have to go with him. Somebody would have to go with Farmer Rich to, to get the vegetables and pay for them. And then we would get the receipt and then the friends would reimburse us. Right. I don't know what the time limit is on that. I got to check with Darlene. I don't know when we have to have that spent by. Sometimes they put a time limit on. You have to use this within a certain amount of time. And you know that if the um, grant we've got from from um, whatever that grant is that we have, we have to use up. The formula grant? Yeah, the formula grant. I know yeah. we can't use that to like have a, a party or food, but can we use that for something like this? If we ran out of money and needed you know, an extra... 500 bucks. Can we use that for that? I'm going to check on that. I don't want to say yes, because we, we can use, we can do a, a volunteer dinner. We get $16 a person to do a volunteer dinner. We can use it for that. Um, but I don't know, like we, we shouldn't be using it for chicken barbecues. No. Six <laughs> grand is a lot of money to get rid of too. If yeah, but you know what? Time. We have a lot of people that have helped us through this year. And I think that we need to put some stipends out there for people who have been very helpful. Yeah. I mean, they work every day. Yeah. So no, I think well, we have to talk about I have about a question that. though. Hey, yes. Uh, the you money that we have in our gift account, do we get to use that or does that go to the town or? Oh no, that is ours, Ken. My understanding is the town cannot touch that. Okay, that's I mean, donations. We have almost seventeen thousand dollars. I know. You know, and not that I want to spend the money, but you know, my no, other that's... thought is, I guess when you get the estimates, and every week is a tremendous amount of work. Though people need the food, obviously. It'd be kind you of know. fun. I don't mind doing it, and it's kind of fun. I'm just baking it and getting the dishes. I, I don't mind organizing it. I think it's a good thing to do. Um, and you can only have three people in at a time. So you'd have people right, peeling right. vegetables. And I people... was worried about running out of the $2,000. Well, once um, the 2000 is three weeks, you know, or four weeks. Right. And so then, this, and, and gee, you know, what do we do? It well, was this nice, is... but it was short lived as opposed to if you did it every other week, at least you've got oh, it two would go months long. maybe worth of of that. I mean, that was just my thoughts. Yeah, because this is a grant, and once the money's gone, the, the program's done. I know a lot of senior centers, they do the grab and go, but they have restaurants that's donating the food to them. 
Right. They bring it to them, all packaged and ready to deliver. So we don't have that. We don't have anybody wanting to donate us any food, no. except for Darlene. So, I mean, we can make a choice to do it every other weekend. Uh, I mean, every other week or, you know, once I mean, we get- I was get, just throwing that out. Yeah. I, again, I think if you get the, we get the bids and then we can figure out how many weeks we can do it, how many right. days rather, then we can decide are we going to do it five, six in a row, or are we going to do it every other for 12 or something like that? Yeah. And we have to figure out the menu. So I yeah. just jotted some stuff down and I'm always willing to, you know, if you go home and you think about it after the meeting and you get some better ideas, you just give me a call. But I thought one week we would do the shepherd's pie and then one week we would do chicken pot pie. And then they always love the hunter stew. That's one we could do. Um, beef stew we could do. We could do American chop suey. Um, that's all I have for now. But I mean, if anybody has any ideas, I don't mind. I'd love to have them. I'd love to see what you'd like to serve. I'll do dessert. Oh, Nancy will do dessert. I wasn't even thinking about that. I'm writing you down, Nancy. <laughs> Nancy dessert for a hundred people. <laughs> I, I'm, oh no, I'd like help. Thank you. Jane's not here. Mel's not here. I'll, I'll, they're, they're dessert people. And you okay. know what? Bread, Two M&Ms per rolls. person for dessert. Huh? Two M&Ms per person for dessert. <laughs> Yeah. Well, and you know, you save your slips because you'll get reimbursed from the friends because that's the grant. So they don't expect you to spend your money. Okay. Let me ask a question. Is it yeah. worth uh, asking that restaurant in town, I can't think of the name of it, how much she would charge for making up 75 meals? Well, I think the point is they want to use the local farmers and the local uh, meet people to try to help keep them in business through this corona. You know, they're okay. trying to, that's what Darlene had said to me. We're trying to get the local people involved, the businesses yeah sounds good but you have i mean to get i you got chia city beef and what about greenland farm with rick green yeah. he's got a, yeah. he's got his beefers and uh, i don't know oh, what they've got available but. do you know how expensive that meat is <laughs> no, no idea very, what was the very. first one you said barney what beef what was that yes the chia city beef the one that's oh. on um gardner, yeah. in gardner over by the oh. exercise place yeah so if i put a if i put a, a list together of all the different meats we need and how much we have i have uh -oh. have to we have to get that to them and they can give us an estimate on it so if i get that all done and i send it over maybe somebody can take it up to them and you got the valley few farms you got the place in Holden. What's the name of that place? Right along the main route there on the left. I buy stuff from them sometimes. Um, oh, I know who you're you know talking I mean? about. That's not a local farm, though. It's not a farm. No, it's true. Yeah. It's like, kind of like Cheer City, though. I've never been in Cheer City. Oh. I know Joyce Green, Greenland. And I've been but up that's there. expensive, you said, honey. It's, well, she yeah, might give us a deal if they've got if they got leftover, like you know, hamburger that we could use for. What about Bratko? Did you say that Tom Bratko had me, Nancy, or no? He does. He does. I don't know if they've got any available, right? You know, okay. sure, but yeah, you can check with him. It's uh, what's the name of the farm? High Meadow. High Meadow Farm. You know, he's delivering onions. All right. Well, we got at least four what? I just caught what you said. I, I know you were talking about, you know, using the local people, but we go to Giacomo's in, um, by a hub, you know, by the uh -huh. hub market. Right. Yeah. They make all their own things. And they have these really nice little containers, which are a meal. You know, and they make like a, um, they make some vegetarian meals, like, um, honey, what do they make? Yeah, they make a vegan shepherd's pie, but they make little things. They make different kinds of stews, eggplant stew, soups, 
Um, mm. They're not cheap, but you know, if you said to them, look, could you give us 75 eggplant stews, you know, up for two weeks out or three weeks out, you know, that might be, they, I'm sure they would give us a break for that kind of, for that kind of volume. That's and true, really and they're excellent. local. I don't know if anybody. <clears throat> yeah, and you also got Wanda there, the the coffee shop. Maybe she would do a, a meal. Uh, yeah, that's something. what I mentioned earlier, but you guys didn't listen. Oh, we weren't listening. <laughs> All right, skip, Bill. You skip right over me. <clears throat> I think the each of the two, besides the Pizza Palace, and the Pizza Palace has tons of business. But I think those two smaller places, yeah, you'd have to include Wanda if you're going to go to Giacomo's. Yeah. Right. All right. I'm going to have to check with um, I'm going to have to check with Darlene and, and see because it's her grant. So let's see if she'll go with that, and we can maybe do a couple of the meals out of the local businesses. You, we go All to right? Giacomo's every week or two, and we buy yeah. stuff. The next time I go in, do you want me to just speak to them about tell them who I am and would they be interested in if, if we're trying to put something together and would they be interested in doing that? I would love you to do that. that. I'll do yes. that. Yes. Yeah, I'd love you to do that. We'll go, we usually go on the weekend. So maybe we'll go over this weekend. Or just, okay. I'll just ask them. Just to ask them if it's something they would consider. I, right, exactly. I'll do that. You know what? You could maybe do. get a list of, of um, dishes that they yeah. can make in volume like that. Could you get me? That would be popular. Yeah, because you could even have a vegetarian, you could just get from them like a vegetarian option. Because it sounds like everything we got planned, you know, yeah, chicken well, they're vegetarian all is meat. Stuff is, right? Is, yeah, right. I think a vegetarian option one it's week would be, would be great. You know, <laughs> something different. Or, you know, maybe one week you do half vegetarian, half not. I don't, you know. Well, get an idea. Um, yeah. This is the size of the container. Oh, that's okay. a good size. Yeah. Well, it's a meal. Yeah. I mean, Susan will, we make, Susan's vegetarian, so we'll get like a vegetarian, we get, excuse me, like an eggplant stew. And they're not all vegetarian, you know? And mm. it can be fresh or it can be frozen, you know? And we can even oh, give it to people it frozen, you know? But this is a meal, and I mean 75 of these, 75 of these from them at a point in time, let them freeze them, and I think would be great. So I will ask them now. Good idea. Good, okay. Does anybody know Wanda? I know Wanda. I know Wanda. <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't know Wanda? That's what I want. Everybody know. knows Wanda, but who wants to talk to Wanda? Anybody want to talk to Wanda about? I don't know her. I'll talk to Wanda. Know. You want to talk to her, Nance? Yeah, sure. Well, you want me to ask her if if she were to would she consider doing a meal like a drive through a grab and go meal? They call them grab and goes. Yep. Just, you know, one. You know, if they wanted to do the yeah, uh, beef different. stew, if they wanted to do the beef stew or Okay. If not, that's okay too. But I gotta okay. check with I wanna check with Darlene just to just because I think we should, you know. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So you want me to wait and not talk to her and can to wait until you talk to Darlene? Or should we talk to her of them first? Well, it doesn't matter. I think you can just say we're working on that and Yeah, uh, we're trying to put something together. Trying to put something that? together. Nothing's written in stone now, but would they consider it? Yeah. Sounds okay. like a good idea. Yeah. Because I got to get the quotes for the meat and stuff too. So I got to know how much to, to get. Yeah. Okay. So I think it would be a morale booster for people in the middle of winter too, too. Have something like that. Yeah. And they might be able to do it like now, you know, I mean, like before I get back, maybe March or something. Well, I'd say I think the Giacomo's too, you know, if they say yes, they'd be willing and we could give them maybe two weeks notice. Yes, yes, would it would have to do something. Maybe that's the first one you do. Yeah, and it would have to be on a- it. Ken, it would it's have- all, And it's all homemade. Yeah, and it would have mm -hmm. to be on a Thursday. 
because yeah. that's when they pick up the. Yeah, that's that what I would have tell to... them that we would need to pick it up on a Thursday morning. Yeah, early. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't do the hunt to stew until you get back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll when save that one for when I get back. Us, Claudia. Yeah. When are you leaving us? When am I leaving you? I'm already gone. Oh, you're in Florida now? I'm in Florida, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah Didn't I, you even I, miss me, Ken? Uh, you I haven't even missed me. I guess I should have noticed with the, with the, the, the lighted palm tree behind your head. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Oh! You no. Know, <laughs> that was the dead giveaway. Oh, <laughs> where do you see it? Oh, yeah. oh the bar light. Oh, on, oh, I'm at the bar. <laughs> oh, there you go. Nothing wrong She's showing that. that stuff on purpose. Next time she'll be outside in a bathing suit. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to keep turning this? You want me to keep turning this so you can see where I am? <laughs> where yeah. are you anyway? It's, it looks like a garage. Is that your, uh... This is my brother-in-law's house, and he has a tiki bar in his garage. Oh. It's beautiful. Can we you see it? it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Can you see? Wow. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Hard life. Yeah. And they have a screen porch over here with. Oh, no. The uh, fireplace, gas fireplace right here. Can you see it? Oh, like you need a fireplace. Yeah. No. Oh, you know, wow. look at that. Isn't that nice? <laughs> well, we might yeah. have a chilly night about, you know, oh. 70. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shut up. Okay, rub it in. <laughs> uh, that's the director's party. Uh, Claudia, you finished? Uh, I'm all done. <laughs> I think that's all I have. All righty. Um, so, We'll move on to the new business. Excuse me, Skip. I got one more thing I just thought of. Um, Pat, you know, Pat Lamoro, she usually, when she does a newsletter, Pat does. Usually I sit with her. And um, so now I'm not with her every time. And she probably wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt if somebody could pop in. I know Sue is there sometimes, but Pat really is very good and she tries very hard. And so we did change the newsletter around a little bit to this time, but anyways, I just keep in mind that she works on Tuesdays to do the newsletter. So if you, and I don't know who's proofreading it, somebody should be proofreading it. I thought Jane it's, and Vaughn. It's been looking pretty good. I, I, I've been looking it over. She sends it to me, but I haven't found any real egregious errors. Okay, just, well, I'll send uh, you the- Spelling or grammar or anything like that. <clears throat> and I, I've been feeding her stuff just about every every other day, I've, I'll find something going through my okay. voluminous <laughs> storage of stuff and oh, um, yeah. and sending it to her, so she'll have a variety of things. Oh, and good. She seems good. very appreciative. She's very good, and she tries so hard. She really does. Yeah. So I hate to, you know, I feel like I hung her out there to dry, <laughs> but I'll Claudia. call her on Tuesday mornings and. Walk, work with her. Our last two Tuesdays have been snow days, so she has not been in. And the one whole week she didn't come in last, not this past week, the week before. We had snow and it was, I don't know, it just didn't work out. You know, the weather has been not great. And so she's been coming in whenever she could. Yeah, and she I know came she in this Tuesday at 10 because I did speak to her. This came a little Tuesday. late. Okay. Yeah. okay. She came later. Yeah. So, all right. That's all. That's all I got. Okay. So you want us to support her? Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is, if any of you ha have experience with publisher, which is kind of persnickety to use, um, I think that we could actually fit more in the newsletter than we do because of the uh, type size and the spacing and things like that. It could be kind of condensed. I think once this corona is over, I think it would be nice to go back to getting a high school person in to work with Pat. I think she'd do great with someone like that. Like we had, um, oh, what was his name? The last oh, the couple Quan of the Quan. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we had um, the little boy, the, I call him little because I had him in school, but you know who I mean. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Buddy in school. Anyway, if we could get someone like that who's, who's good with a computer and interested in that stuff. I just think we have to wait till Corona's, you know, until everyone's been yeah. vaccinated at least. We got a limit. Yeah. Yeah, because I did get a call from them, you know. I got a call oh. and they wanted to come back, but they had three students. 
And I said, we can't have that many students in there, plus, you know, whoever's working with them and the person. Yeah. I said, I can't do that right now. So that was, she did call me about that. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. Thursday is going to be tough to do the other thing. Too, you know, I know I turned around the other day and there were four people in there besides me. I came out yesterday and it was the end of our thingamajig because Jeanette's showing up now to help. So, and Ed was back and it was like, it was like, whoa, get out of here. There's too many people, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, it, you got to have a little exception every now and again. If they're cold, they got to be able to stand, at least stand in the oh, yeah, No, it was new and they were just chatting. Oh, oh. It was time to leave. <laughs> oh yeah, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. So if we do the handout of the food on that day, but I suppose it's just going to be one more thing for them to hand out. So it's just organizing it and cooking it. If you're going to cook it all that morning, are you thinking, you'd have to think that through. Cooking it maybe the night before and handing yeah, it out. Yeah, because they can day. they can heat it themselves. They can microwave yeah, yeah. it. They can put okay. it in the oven. They can. That's like with the, the chicken pot pie. You're not going to cook it. The crust is going to be raw. They'll pop it in the oven and cook it themselves when they get it home. Oh, I that see. way it's nice and hot and it's. You'll good see for little them. instruction papers. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How okay. are you going to make seventy-five to hundred crusts? Oh, oh, that easy. was your job. Wait, wait. Bill signed up for that. <laughs> <laughs> He's that press person. All right, I'll have a twelve pack of beer and I'll do it. <laughs> oh, we can do that, Bill. We won't get in any trouble. No, no. no. <laughs> Let's get vaccinated first. Oh. God. <laughs> oh boy. Is all everybody right. all lined up to get their shots on Saturday and Sunday? I'm that would young. be people seventy-five and over. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's the only right, ones. Yeah. Right, right. I'm that's worried right. to hear from. Know, are there going to be any extra shots for for those of us who aren't over seventy five who've signed up? Okay, so I I've been dealing with Mallory yesterday. It this yeah. is an ongoing. It seems like every not just every day but every minute. Sometimes these things change. But <laughs> when I left there yesterday, yeah. um, the answer to that question is no. Hey, is your plan? So in Barry, yeah, right. It, that's the same thing she told me. Barry off, had a all, um, all off of the same thing, right. and that's what the that sound is. But that they uh, that both Roger, 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 both Roger. 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 Oh, Roger. 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 I'm sorry, Roger. Roger shut up. <laughs> you can't hear. <laughs> okay, so in Barry, they had a clinic. I think last weekend or the weekend before, whenever, and they had um like five nurses or something and they all opened their vials and they opened too they opened too many vials of the shot and after they went through their assigned people they had a bunch of extra shots so they called in the teachers from the school system and they gave it to them and i don't know who else they called in but they had to use them up once you open the vial you have right. to use it up. so hubbardson learned from that and there were rumors going around it actually did come from the Board of Health earlier in the week that said we were going to do the same thing. We were going to give any extra shots to our teachers, and then we would call the list of 65 and up that we had. And now that's all changed because the governor has changed things as of two day, a day or two ago and said that we can't even have any clinics. We are a satellite community. And this, we were planning to have another clinic, you know, next weekend, not you know, so this weekend to 75 and up, we were going to have another one after that and for the 65 and up, but the governor has nixed all that. Only the bigger places can have them. So <clears throat> what they're doing in Hubbardston is they are doing the 75 and ups that have appointments on Saturday. The Sunday clinic will probably be canceled. She's probably going to move everyone to Saturday. She's working today, even though it's her day off. And um, we have that big glitch that the whole system went down yesterday for the state that included us. So I have a 99 year old and two, eight, two people in their eighties who came in yesterday who should be getting shots, but we couldn't register them. Oh, so they were gonna go geez. to her office today and try to get in um, and whatever. So we're gonna try to get them all vaccinated even, even if the system's still down tomorrow and 
no, there shouldn't be not planning to do the teachers and not planning to do anybody 65 and over, and then not planning to open a ton of vials ahead of time. So we're not going to have that many nurses. We're not right. going to do it like Barry did it. You said that gardeners already full. Um, for Tuesday, I tried to get myself on this morning. So okay. gardener, but gardener's doing it. So let me finish with Hubbardston. So Hubbardston okay. is planning to do another, I'm sorry, Rutland, who is where we're getting ours from anyway. We're getting our medicine from Rutland. Rutland is going to run a clinic for 65 and up. And um, we are part of that. So when we get the date, we will be calling people and signing them up for that, that clinic in Rutland. They're hoping to do a drive-through. You just drive through and get your shot. Um, so as far as Gardner is concerned, I am telling people that between now and then get on our list, but also if you want to try to get into Gardner, Gardner is supposedly doing a thousand people. Mallory told me it was each day, but I think it's a thousand a week. So I think they're doing 500 on Tuesdays and 500 on Monday, uh, Thursdays at the Polish American Club. So this morning, the, it opened up online at 10. Um, to sign up for Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. And on Monday, it should open up at 10 in the morning online or by phone calls for Thursday. And they're going to keep doing that as far as I know. So I kind of shove people that way if they want to try for the Polish American Club. A number of our Hubbardson residents, 75 and up, have done that. And now they're open to 65. Okay. They're only opening, they're only opening it up up the registration for one day at a time. Correct. Okay. So Friday's <laughs> registration is for Tuesday, Mon and for Thursday you go on a Monday. Okay. I hope not too much longer, we're almost done. So that's through that's, uh, that's, Haywood Hospital, right? That's run by Haywood, yep. yeah. Yeah, we're gonna you can call still do my doctor Walgreens. Yesterday. Pardon me? Our doctor took our names yesterday at Haywood, oh. yesterday. Are they uh, going to do it right in their office? No, it's going to go through, like you just said, through Haywood at PACC. So they put our names on a list. I don't know. I haven't heard anything back. She said it'd be in a, a week or so before we hear anything. Oh, huh. okay. Well, you can also get on the Hubbard Stim list if you want. Like I said, I we am. have quite a lot of us. Oh, you are. oh, yeah, I think you are. I think I saw your name. Yeah. Yeah. But let's put it to the top. <laughs> I think I'm. I think I'm at the top of that list. Uh, <laughs> I wonder how many bribes are out there. I never took a step out of the washing machine. The washing machine? Well, there's ones in the wash that haven't been washed, and then there's some in the dryer also that just just get the wrinkles out. Yeah. Okay. So we covered the coronavirus vaccines and all. Has everybody got theirs yet? Nobody. You, so it doesn't sound like you, you're not old enough. Right? Getting mine do you, do, you, do you have yours, Skip? Yeah, I got my first. Uh, do you have yours, Bonnie? Getting it tomorrow. Yeah, I got no, mine. Going to Hubbardson. Hello? Uh, Bonnie? Uh, Any old business that we're going to discuss? I got nothing. Wait a minute, let me check. I've got, I've got Claudia's notes here. Uh-oh. Claudia, what are these notes? Fall, ham and bean supper, art show, maybe. Oh, that was, that was, I was talking with the golden ages about that. And I was talking about, I wanted to put it, but I can't do anything until I get home in April. Are we opening up? Are we going to do something? I wanted to do an art show. I wanted to get some things going, some events going, but I, that's just notes I kept for myself to remember. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's put it back. And but as far as the yard sale is concerned, you put fall. But are we going to continue doing another? Are we going to think of a June one? I think I, I the fall one we did really really well. I so, know, but the fall one's the one that we had everything fall over one year. For the bad last weather. year, did no, we do that? year before. Remember, we said we were never going to do another fall one because the bad the weather can be so bad. Well, I don't know, but we, you know, Nance, we made $8,000. And I think that because it's closer to the holidays, people are buying all our, all our holiday stuff sold, you know? So I'm just thinking, but it's whatever the board wants to do. 
we we can do either way you know I, I think in the in the spring you got all these graduations going. You got people, you know, planning vacations. You got stuff. So I think we just keep collecting stuff, collecting stuff. And I think, you know, if the shed is full, then we should stop. We should stop packing the senior center. We should so stop kind of. So you would pack. You would leave the shed or and pack the senior center, or would you bring back in those all those chairs and stuff? You want to leave the chairs and stuff in the senior center? I mean, in the shed? I think I do for now because they're, they're getting a new top for the van. Now, if they get the one that I had told them to get, they might get something different. I don't know. But there'll be storage down there. If it, It'll be too big for the Mott van. So we're going to have storage down there, I think. And Skip, did we ever take the manger down? Oh, that thing's still there. Oh, that's got to go. That's got to go. You got to get a group of guys. It's fallen over and frozen to the ground. Oh, my God. My, my husband told me yesterday to bring this up to you, Skip. If you wanted help trying to get that up of there, let him know. He would help you. Yeah, possibly next week it's going to be in the 40s, I think. Well, because the church is going to get annoyed with us. We don't want to make them look tacky, you know? We, yeah. They let us put it there. We got to. Not only it. that, but I mean, if, you're, if you, you can't really force those fiberglass things if they're frozen in you're going to wreck oh no no the animals are gone the animals oh, are safe. Oh, oh it's oh it's we just... spent thousands of dollars for those those are safe it's oh, the right. it's the major thing that's got to get out of there i see it, it can't say that it looks kind of tacky yeah yeah well don't look too bad now because it's laying on its back <laughs> yeah but we gotta we can't leave it we can't we, can't. we gotta make that a priority to get that out of there Right now, in the ground. Put some so, hot water on it and melt it. <laughs> I guess oh, I didn't hear you say that. Skip. Oh, this must have been bad. <laughs> hot water freezes fast than cold water. Oh. Oh. No. So yeah, anyway, but... no. If you try pouring hot water on it, it's make, make it worse. Well, we got to figure. Well, well, it'll get going it will do something quickly uh, <laughs> just saying here we are into february <laughs> just no, saying the end of it <laughs> i still see christmas decorations up yeah but not not we don't want to look tacky not the seniors oh, i know we're not tacky do we have a place to store it where are you going to store that piece in yes. the church we'll let us store it right there in the backyard okay oh good I already talked to him about it, so. Oh, well, we got to get it out. So it's yeah, just it. a matter of moving it, yeah. Right, yeah. and need help to move it. So, All right, so well, let's get some help there. My other suggestion, Skip, would be if, so in the backyard, you mean outside? Yeah, outside and cover it. The same as it's been outside behind okay. the years. All right, because my other thought was the, um, if we needed it ever, the trailer over that we keep the medical stuff over at the pallet company. I didn't know if they might have room inside the trailer because I, I don't think it's packed. But uh, oh, that'd be nice to put it inside. So at the thought, if you want me to call Kellyanne on Monday, I can do that and ask her. Well, we'll, we'll work on that. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because I gotta get Hi. help. Help lately is hard. Well, yeah. we can get. Call Albert. Let me help please. you get help. Need, Albert's we, free to help you with that. We need somebody strong. I can't, you know, the, we can't get any of the elderly to do it anymore. Yeah. No, it's, it's not, it's a lot on them. That's why I got a bunch of kids about, lost. Can't get them this time. How about Richard, how about Richard and um, Ed? How about Richard Anderson and Ed? They, they possibly they're always yeah. willing to help. Yeah, I can yeah. talk. Maybe um, I can help. Lowe's grandson me. might help. Yeah, That's Brandon. Yeah, young, young, rugged guys. Yeah. Yeah. High school. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we've conducted all our business. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? I make a motion to adjourn. Do I hear a second? second? 
I'll I have second. a second. All those in favor? In that. Aye. 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 Who seconded? I did. Bill, okay.